Okay, here's how my rotation sensors work. Uh, what you can see here is one of the, right here, is one of the, the micro switches I've got. It's got a wonderful little bent piece of metal that runs right up here and forms a roughly 90 degree angle that fits just perfectly uh, into the studs that I've got hanging off that gear there. And if I lift them up, you can see them in there and it fits right down in there. As it rotates, I get, uh, I get one count. You'll hear it. I got one count. Uh, for each of the quadrants, and of course I gear it down so that I've got a lot more, got a lot more precision on the uh, motion for both the equatorial and then the uh, the lateral drives. Uh, both of them uh, use one. And here I'll show it to you in action. We'll run the uh, we'll run the program dry with no egg, and uh, first it'll go through a real quick uh, setup uh, initialization, and then it'll start running. It goes pretty quick. And of course, I had to make my own wires uh, to connect. Okay, so that's it for the Lego Eggbot. You can see I still got some improvement to do, mainly in the uh, the pen holder mechanics. Um, I'm also thinking that I'd like to put a limit switch up in here so uh, on initialization I can rotate it all the way over and I can tell the absolute position of that it doesn't so much matter on the lateral drive you pretty much start anywhere you want on a blank egg uh, other things uh, that I could consider doing would be to uh, improve the the egg holders but they they seem to be not too bad I skyped a little spring there from a pen or something like that so there's a few non lego parts but I think all spare uh, when you're doing robotics all right, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, happy robot making. Bye-bye.